Hello there, I'm the Marmoset, and this is City Skylines. I'm sat here with the gorgeous Ocelots. Say honey, hello honey. Hello! See, it's right next to me. So, Marmoset and Ocelot today, and we're playing City Skylines with the After Dark DLC expansion. I've watched a bit of Let's Plays about this, so this is more of a tasteless playthrough rather than a blind one. My wife hasn't seen this at all, the darling Ocelot. So this is going to be a blind playthrough of her, and she's mostly going to be sat next to me, making sarcastic comments and naming things while she knits. So, new game. Um, what kind of map do we want? We're obviously, going to left-hand traffic. Um, do you want to go to a sandy beach? Yeah, why not? Let's go to a sandy beach. Okay, what should we call the place? Bear in mind, if we have this, we can use it as a naming theme as well. Yeah. Come on, the audience are waiting. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, mm. About Animalia. Not Zootopia, that's a film that's coming out soon. Mm, okay. Animalia? Okay. Animalia. Animalia. There we go, and we're going to have left hand traffic, because that's the side of the road you just drive on. So, let's have a look. Start. Let's see what this pretty place looks like. So. We've got all the tutorial stuff on, so it's going to be doing all the tutorial things. So, okay, first things first, is I am going to go to the options and the audio, and I'm going to reduce some of the ambient volume down a bit, because that wind rush noise is a bit loud. So. Nope, still loud. <laughs> Let's bring it down to about 10 or so. Whichever one is the main volume, yep. Okay, so this is apparently our little stretch of thing. Let's pause time. So we've got a pop-up down here. It says build a road. Build roads to expand your city. Select a road type and draw by selecting a start and end point of the road. Stop a road by clicking the secondary mouse button. Uh, okay, there's apparently a little chirper thing up here that will talk to us about things. Set that button? That's the settings menu. Resume game. Global unhappiness is unhappy. Bulldozer, yes. Alright. Oh, roads. Roads need to be built to provide zones. Okay. Larger roads, faster travel. Page up, page down to elevate them. Drag it over bridges. Oh, and I can upgrade things later on. Which I'm guessing is... Upgrade tool, okay. Curved road, freeform road, upgrade tool. Okay, so here's our plot of land. We start next to the coast. We can't zoom out too far because we can't see too much, but yeah, nice. So let's uh, build a road. Oh, okay, so middle mouse button lets me move around. Okay. Oh, we've got a dead end highway here. Clicky, clicky, clicky. How far should the road go, honey? Uh, we've not got too much money, so let's just do a short one, shall we? Okay. Is that any? Yeah, um. Does it say I need to abort? Okay, so just escape does that. Ah, right click to get rid of it. Okay. Let's uh, just make a little. T-junction likely. Ooh, can we do... Can we do one-way roads yet? No, no, we've got no roads at all. Alright, so... Uh, we obviously need to join these up a little bit at some point, so... Okay, fine. <laughs> there we go. That's the start. Alright, so there we've basically got our highway connection. And then we'll just come out a few grids. Okay, we're done with that. Alright, we need power to connect things together, and we need water to make sure people don't completely think. Alright, so we're poor, so nothing's going to happen a little bit. Which side... Oh! We can't see the large brush, small brush, that brush. City information. Economy. Policies. Monuments. Yep, 
areas. Alright, so we'll be able to build a bit more there. Water, happiness, wind speed, traffic. Water happiness, fire safety. Yeah, it's the happiness of water. Natural resources. Alright, so we can't have natural resources. Have we gotten a happy water? I don't know. Right, um. Which side of the road do you want to put our industry? Industry. Do you want it? Um, well, it's not me any water at the moment. No, hopefully it won't be too polluting. So, do you want to go that side or that side? Um, you still need to be near water source. Yeah, we can pump the water in later. The land side, perhaps, for now. Uh, left or right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So odds is the right hand side. Yeah. That's a six. So industry is going on the left, yeah. uphill. All right. So let's uh, lay a few roads out for our little bit of industry. I'm going to avoid that junction, that confluence there, because that's going to get really, really sodding busy. Let's build that sixteen hundred. It makes a really satisfying thump noise when it gets involved there. Hmm? Thump, 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 yeah. Okay, so there we go. That's the first little bit of this. So let's paint. Okay. So that's a small brush marquee. Ah, it's a drag and drop. So let's Fill that out that side. Fill that with residential. Yes, I know it's currently paused. I didn't want anything to happen while I was thinking. And let's put the bit between them to be commercial. So let's dezone that bit and make it yellow. No, I didn't want yellow. I wanted blue. I'm a silly, silly monkey. Alright, so there's a demolish thing, so we put that over there. Okay, so. Okay, escape to do that. So, that's zoning. Alright, we need power. Wind turbine. Clean energy from the wind. Reduce the amount of, amount of produced power depending on the strong winds. Where the. Where the turbine is no road connection required. Estimated power. Okay, fair enough. So we can get. So if we go up on that hill, we can get a fair bit. That's outside city limits. That's going to be a bit noisy if we put it next to our residential area. Mm -hmm. But, fortunately, right next to our industrial area is a few spots where we can get 8 megawatts. So we can just stick it right there and we drastically reduce the amount of power line we need to later. Because, I don't know, I think we might do some forestry or some other aspects up on that hill. Ooh, plenty of... Uh, there's plenty of power down on the beach. You want to put loads of wind turbines down on the beach? Yeah, and piss off the people. Alright, we'll do that later. We'll piss the people off by putting wind turbines down on the beach. But for now... We will put... Three of these down. To give ourselves a fair amount of power. Um, and I will just run a power line... Across the bit here. Now that is going to disrupt our zoning a little bit, but it does mean that we should get a nice amount of power in this area. Lastly, we need water. Water tower. For the water source, do not allow pumping stations to be built. Contaminated. Okay, so it just kind of draws water up out of the ground. Pumping station drags it out of the water. Poop station pumps it back out again. Okay, so we've got a nice decent flow through there, but unfortunately that's outside the city limits. And there is a gentle movement of water that way. So yeah, there's a very, very gentle movement of water in this direction. Now, the pumps have an awful lot of suck, so that might cause us a problem, but what we really don't want to end up with is a situation where we're hauling poop into our water supply. So let's hook that up with a water pipe and then drag the water pipe over to the middle of here and that should give us one water pipe for all of that. Now the last thing we need to do 
is connect up our supply system to the water. Ooh, the economy panel has been unlocked. Coal power plant. Noisy and creates a lot of pollution. Well, we'll see if we can avoid doing that just yet. City economy tab. Money panel. How much money do I want to spend on these things? Well, we've got nothing has come in yet, so I'm reasonably th convinced that um, we can... Ooh, nighttime and daytime. We can crush our budget on those down to 50%, and then we can top that back up again. Later on. So we're making nothing, because nothing is happening, because it's paused. Now it's not paused. Oh, look! Look, my darling ocelot. There are buildings! <laughs> They do indeed have buildings. They're not that ugly coloured. How is the building going? The info shows it. It's a building. Let's click on the building. All right, under construction. The Florence residence. That's not going too bad. We've got. Yes, we've got our first buildings. So. Lots of residential things are going. Well, these are construction buildings to begin ah. with. See, that's it. Yeah. See? No one lives here yet. No one lives here yet. I'm assuming that means they'll be coming in. Renaming. Oh, okay. So. The Woodland Residence. Becomes the Mama's Head House. Okay. And let's rename. Can we rename this? Yes. I have no idea. Ocelotti Yeah, the Ocelotti Turbine. It's Ocelotti. How Ocelotti is that turbine? Not even spotty. <laughs> I don't know. There is an, an object editor, so I could make this turbine spotty. a spotty turbine. But for now, yes. So we've got people moving in. What houses are being built? What they happen is they move in later on. So we're basically waiting for a car to come this way. So your trees are alive. The trees are alive. Yeah, look. yeah they wobble. They um, wobble. They um wobble kind of slowly. I mean, that kind of oh, implies that the wind's <laughs> motion. It's like it's it's not that doesn't look that much like a wind wobble. It's just the tree is just kind of going oh but oh oh but oh oh but oh oh but oh. So yeah, it's a happy tree that is. So let's um turn the speed up and see if we get a car. Head our way. Oh, we've got our first commercial building in, and uh, another great big neighbourhood shops coming up. Oh, industrial buildings. We have a cargo container shop. That's fine. That's a starting point. Everyone likes cargo containers. More and more industrial buildings are going in, so we're getting a high, plus 137 people are coming in a week. But we're losing. Well, we're losing money. But if you notice. You watch this down over time. It's actually drastically... So the amount of money we're losing is decreasing. So essentially that should actually start getting going to go uh, positive. It is indeed. It is indeed. I am kind of wondering just how far away we are from well, the, yeah, the mainland or where it is these guys spawn from because I haven't actually seen any... D a car! <laughs> we have a car. Also, this is a bit loud. So I'm going to go to the options and just trim the master volume down a little bit. <laughs> but we have a car going to the Ivy residence. So Mr. Jeremy Smith works at good and look at all these cars coming in. All these wow, glorious people. <laughs> yes, they are. I mean, particularly when we're up here. Yeah, they are like little ants. Little like ants, them. yeah. So there's kind of a point, apparently if you zoom all the way out, you can hear the wind noise. I don't quite know what noise the jet stream makes, but... Yeah. 
all these people are piling in to our little town of Animalia. So we're up to a population 229. We're now making $204 a month, or a time a tick, and our population is still increasing. So we've got no demand for commercial, a little bit of demand for residential, and a little bit of demand for industrial. So these are the demand tickers down here. We've got quite a bit of space yet for to be developed, and it's getting dark. Thanks for that. Yeah. A day's work, so all the lights come on. I love the way it gets slightly blurry and misty in the background. So there goes the sunset. So setting sun, high speed. Okay, so I mostly think we're just going to be gently ticking along for a bit while we wait for all our demand to max out. Okay, apparently nano machines. I'm going to ignore the chatterer for a while. I don't have a great deal of interest in it, but um, we pause it a little bit. Happiness. Citizen happiness. Unemployment, low health, and a lack of safety causes citizens to be unhappy. So what are you unhappy about? Well, there's no one living there yet, so they haven't moved in. So it's all the popular residents, but apparently it's not very popular. Wind speed, traffic. So we're getting a fair bit of traffic on this bit of the road, which was to be expected, because it's the main thoroughfare in and out, so I don't doubt in the not too distant future we are probably going to have to do something about re uh, replacing those roads. But at the moment, we can't because we don't have any other road types. Oh, we've got one way roads. I am going to do a little bit of planning ahead. And I am going to take out those roads. And I'm going to put a one way road that goes that way to there. And a one way road that goes that way to there. It's going to create a hideous junction, but it does mean that the on and off ramps from our city aren't going to be an awful mess anymore. I suspect that this commercial district might get rebuilt later on. Yeah. Okay, so we're beginning to start to get more of a commercial demand, and I am seeing problems with our power usage. So we should go to the economy tab. Milestones. Population of 500, apparently. When we get more things. Um, let us bring our power supply back up to 100%. And we'll probably do the same with water. And we are still making a healthy amount of money. But they should stop now complaining. Yay! They now have power. What's your problem? Not enough workers. Okay, well look, our residential demand's gone all the way up to here. So that means it's road time. Let's grab uh, another one of these roads. Um, we don't actually have buildings here yet, so I can't quite get rid of that power line without... Well, actually, no, let's have a look. No, we do have. We've got power routes all the way around, so we can now... Happily... Scrub those power lines and save us a little bit of extra maintenance. But let's go back to the road. So, we're doing a really simple grid system to begin with. What shape? Should I do a circle or something like that later? Oh, I got a hmm. I could do a round road. Yeah, I guess. Let's see. Okay. Ah. Interesting. Okay, so that's a little bit too close. So let's take it from about here. Nope, let's go for a straight road. But I think what we will be doing is experimenting with round roads and curved roads. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're living dangerously in the town of Animalia. Thank you very much for watching this first episode of our Skitty Sidelines Let's Play series. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this, and my ocelot and I will see you next time.